All right, now one of the things I wanna talk about real quick is the neurotransmitter glutamate, which is an emotional amplifier that can explain why some people are overly emotional, have mood swings, or take everything personally. Now, glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter, while GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, and they can be converted into each other to maintain balance, but if glutamate becomes elevated, it can become problematic, and there's two ways this can happen. One way is by consuming things that contain glutamate or its precursor, L-glutamic acid, which is readily transformed into glutamate, or if there's a decreased conversion of glutamate into GABA. As for some things that contain glutamate or L-glutamic acid, we're talking about commercial coffee, fast food, frozen meals, or transformed foods. Also, hyperglycemia increases glutamate production in the brain, which can happen if you have a lot of sugar. Glutamine can easily be converted into glutamate, so you might want to avoid high doses of that, and then stress, especially if it's excessive. As for what decreases the conversion of glutamate into GABA, a vitamin B6 deficiency, since B6 is needed for the conversion of glutamate into GABA. As for what you can do to restore balance, number one, you can take GABA. Number two, you can go on a keto diet since ketones increase the action of the GAD enzyme, which increases the conversion of glutamate into GABA. Number three, if you don't want to go keto, you can just go low carb to reduce the risk of hyperglycemia. And as long as you produce less glutamate, eventually your levels will go down. It just might not work to the same degree as keto since you won't get the same increase in the conversion of glutamate into GABA. Or number four, if you don't want to go keto or low carb, you can fast since fasting increases ketones.